What's up guys, Matt from the Football Boots team and today we are going to be doing a football repairs hack video using some stuff like a syringe, an egg, a glue gun, a stapler and also some nail varnish. So let's find out how these can help save your favourite football equipment. Hack number one is how to repair a punctured football. Now I don't really know where the hole is on this football, but the great thing about this hack is, is that you don't need to know where it is. Now what you're gonna need to do this is an egg, a football pump, a football pump needle, and also a syringe. So let's find out exactly how you can use an egg to repair the puncture. First things first, you need to crack the egg into the bowl. Put the shell aside and now you need to get your syringe and only suck up the white of it. You don't need the yolk at all, so you just need to soak up the white itself. Once you've got your egg white into your syringe, you need to then get the football pump needle, secure it onto the end so we can squeeze it into the football itself. Once you've squeezed the egg white into the football, remove the syringe and remove the needle. And then you need to put the needle into the pump and then pump up the football. Once about three quarters of the way pumped up, remove the pump and then just rotate the ball a few times just to make sure the egg white inside the ball covers the internal puncture. Once you've done this, now just add that last quarter worth of pumping to make sure the ball is fully pumped up. Fully pumped up, now just give it one final rotation to make sure the puncture is coated and then leave aside to set for a few hours. Now the egg white is fully set, it's created a coating inside the ball to make sure the puncture doesn't leak any air. So now you can take the football and use it as before. Our next hack might be our most important one and that is how to fix sole separation, a common problem with modern day football boots. Now what you're going to need is some waterproof sealant and also a glue gun. Now once you've got your sole separated boot, you need to open it and clean it up a little bit just to start out with and make sure it's fully dry. Now once you've got your glue gun sorted out, you need to squeeze the end of it to pull the trigger and put a generous amount on top. And when you're happy with the amount, remove the gun, put to the side, and then you need to carefully squeeze onto the upper to make sure that it's actually come attached with the sole plate once again. Once you're happy, just get a piece of tissue and wipe off the excess. Once you've cleaned it up, now you need to get some tape to wrap around that sole plate just to make sure there's a tight finish with the upper and the sole plate itself. Now that you've finished taping up the boot, give it a final press down and then add some pegs just to secure the binding. Once you've done this, leave overnight to fully set. Now the sealant has fully dried, let's take off the pegs, take off the tape and have a look at the finished product. And as you can see, it's actually a pretty tidy finish. Now this isn't gonna last the longest amount of time. It's more of a short term fix, but as a short term fix, it's actually a pretty decent one. Our next hack is how to reattach a ripped off tongue. And it's very simple, you only need a stapler. Now the first step is to roll up your tongue. Now once you've got it down to about that level, then you need a place inside to the stapler itself, so open it up. Once you have it in place, then you need to place the stapler and the tongue inside the boot to the desired area. Once you've got it in place, close down the stapler and then punch through the upper and the tongue. Once you've done that, you can then unroll the tongue and as you can see, you now have the tongue reattached to the boot. We've only used one staple, but you can use multiple if you want a more secure fit. Our last hack is gonna be great for leather football boots and all you're gonna need is some nail varnish. As you can see, leather football boots are prone to fraying, so how can nail varnish actually help this situation? Well, all you need to do is actually go over the stitching with the nail varnish itself and the best one to use is just a clear coat one so you can't see the finish. You don't need to use too much and you only really need to go onto the frayed areas itself. Once you've applied the nail varnish, leave to dry for an hour. Once the nail varnish is dried, you've now got two options. 
Firstly, you can just leave the boots as they are. Because the frayed stitching is now solid, they won't fray anymore. Or option number two, which is what I would do, you can just snip away the frayed stitching to leave a cleaner finish. So guys, there it is, our football repair hacks video, but which one has been your favorite? The egg white syringe, the glue gun, the stapler, or the nail varnish? Vote in the poll card now for your favorite, but that's it all wrapped up, so thanks for watching, cheers.